of an open road. It's the last day I'm going to be running the carburetor without the uh, control spring for the secondaries. So let's see what kind of tough feet we can get. Started doing 40. things to keep in mind first run was on the bottom third of a hopper full and I am strictly running right now on my chunked maple bark on it's running in, eh, between 12 and 15 percent moisture shut my hair down here and the second two runs I had just topped off. Um, and to, just to keep things in perspective here, it is still a Toyota. It's a W55 out of a third gen pickup that is bone stock. It is a bone stock rear end. 
there is no gearing whatsoever done to this truck. So despite the fact it has a small block Chevy V8 and it's making triple the factory horsepower numbers, um, it's not gonna go any faster than it would in stock form. Um, the speedo in the truck only goes to 85 miles an hour. And even when I had a built 22R motor in this truck, uh, I think I only ever got it to 80 one time. When I put the small block in it, I have had the truck up to 100 miles an hour running on gasoline. But I was starting to float valves at like 86, 87. So getting that motor to 81 miles an hour on alternative fuel, wood gas, that's actually really impressive. I'm, I'm getting close to the fast mark of what I was getting on gasoline with a built motor. Like stock 22R makes 98 horsepower. Um, I think my motor was making 120, 130, somewhere in there. Big cam, big car, big jets, header, flow master, really good breathing. I had ported the head. I did a whole bunch of work to that thing. And like I said, it's I'm right on par with how fast the four cylinder could get the truck to go. And I'm not that far off of what the V8 can do running on gasoline. So for alternative fuel, that's hauling ass. Talk to you guys next time.